Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I found out that Betty Buttcrack, a.k.a. Katie Kidman, a.k.a. Rochelle Richards, had been Baker acted and sent to jail. But she's out now spouting all sorts of conspiracy theories and other BS about her time in there and what's going on in the world. I mean, seriously, she is one that really flew over the cuckoo's nest. So let's sit down, relax, and watch her rant. Hello? It's me. Your jailbait granny. That combination of words does not make sense right there. I've usually heard the term jailbait associated with a child below the age of 18 that looks like they're an adult and capable of doing adult things, and thus becomes jailbait for those above the age of 18. I came up here to show you that I'm up here in the beautiful nature of God's country, because that's where we all come from. is on our side and just to tell you what they did to me I guess you know locking me up in jail for being at a place where every parent goes to every grandparent has to go to everybody goes to a school Rochelle you don't have any children or grandchildren that go to that school you were not invited to that school either you do not belong there you are and continue to prove that you are a security risk. And like all security risks, you need to be dealt with. And they have sports events and all kinds of soccer games and things going on all the time with kids and people videotaping them and putting them on Facebook or whatever. I mean, to make a big deal out of what I'm doing. Michelle. Once again, you have proven to be a security risk. It is all about the security of the children that go to that school. Those events that you are talking about are regulated by the school and secured by the school. There are designated areas that the school provides that you can stand in, that you can observe these events going on. That way, the security of the children can be insured. What is so hard about that to understand? It's kind of strange because uh, I don't believe it's illegal, for one thing, and I don't believe they should have locked me up and then Baker acted me and took me from jail to the hospital in chains. Chains underneath my crotch, all over me, chained up from everywhere. I mean, it's like, do I need chains? I don't think so. And I think they know that. And to play these kind of games with people that are doing something, trying to hold them accountable, is precisely what we're looking for. Because you need to weed people like this out need to get them out of the way. This country is based on freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, to assemble, to redress your government. Do you know them all? The government doesn't know them all. They're going around asking them what's the Third Amendment. None of them know. No soldiers quartering in your house. The Second Amendment. The freedom to bear arms. Uh-oh, you hesitated on the Second Amendment right there. Are you sure you know it by heart? And what about the other amendments? How many amendments are there? How many articles are there? What do they mean? Which articles dress? Which uh, powers that the uh, branches have? What are the branches? How many branches are there? You know, these people are afraid of us. They treated me like I was insane. Because they are. And now I have three court dates, tickets coming out the yin yang. You know, they want to oppress you and tie you down with all these things they use to try to control you. But, you know, if you 
let them, then that's just the way it's going to be. So we can't let that happen. And I don't need America's in Guam. Lying his ass off about Guam, too. This week, freaking media went to jail. Oh, he's fine. He only spent the weekend there. He'll be okay. Direct D went to jail. He also recorded the court proceeding and bragged under his breath in the court proceeding that he made $5,000 off of the video that sent him to the jail to begin with. I mean, all kinds of auditors are just messing with us. Here comes this thing. Hold on, I came up here to show you this. Bringing these things up here. I don't know what they're doing up here or something. It's secretive. Oh, wow. It's a truck. There's a conspiracy afoot. Let's go investigate. They have all these trucks with these lights. See this guy? What are they doing up here? That's why I came up here. Anyway, there's not much to do in jail when you're sitting in there. I'm sure Spanky Pants knows. I know. It's pretty boring in there. They make sure of it. There's a bunch of cows. You know, of course they don't bring you a cigarette. I don't smoke, but if I did, you know. They take everything away from you and put you on a con concrete slab with a roll of toilet paper and a bunch of windows and cameras in front of your toilet. And so I just sat on the toilet and then I took the toilet paper and I made curtains for my window and I put the, would take the piece of toilet paper off spit on it and then stick it on the the window in my cell so I made a whole curtain like this little fluffy curtain looking thing and they couldn't see in there and they didn't like that so they opened the door and took me took my toilet paper away from Becky Buttcrack and that's what they did so they took away my toilet paper I said why but why because you're making a mess well, I'll cut it off here because she goes on for another 20 minutes on this line. I mean, she released another auditing video today, three of them, and all three of them were well over 30 minutes long, and they were all auditing the same post office. No cops were called. She had very little interactions with anybody at all, and all she really did was just stand there and watch. For two hours, she stood there and just watched.